I'm gonna do a grand thumb turn. Do that. Let's do that. Okay. I don't know how to do it though. Well, you turn. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably probably the easiest way to go about that. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. We're back at the range today, uh, doing our shotgun Sunday, and we still have the pumper nickel. We're trying to break it. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna keep on going. Minimum 500 shells through it. We've already got 400 pushed through this so far, and we're gonna put another uh, 60 through today and I need to talk to you guys real quick about some of the comments that I've gotten on this series first and foremost a lot of people have been saying oh that's a lot of low brass bird shot going through there well today it is all high brass starting off with some two shot steel this is the uh, type of shot that I use type of shells that I use for waterfowl hunting so 25 of that and then we have a mixture of buckshot and slugs and yeah just those two buckshot and slugs high brass we've got some magnum loads that we're going to try uh, i think there's a joke in there uh, i don't know but anyway uh with that being said the other comment that we had from um mandatory carry appreciate him dropping a comment down in the comment section because that's where you do it uh but he was talking about the forend and it being loose uh, it's still loose, and he said that he would like to see it tightened up so that we can maybe diagnose the reason why it's loosening up, and I agree with that. Unfortunately, I don't have the tool for me to do that um, handy at the moment to tighten it up. I got it a little tightened, but it's still a little loose, so uh, we're just going to leave it as is for now, tighten it up for the next video next week. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started, and... Drop some rounds in and see if I can do any better with my shotgun handling skills now that I have a nice little pouch to hold everything in. I can uh, maybe do this a little bit quicker. So, all right, here we go. That's not how that works. I already jinxed myself, guys. Hmm. Got an issue. Just started right here. It is jammed up right there. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get that unjammed. There we go. It only let me put in four in there, so there seems to be an issue with the plunger here. Uh-oh. There we go. It's stopping right there when it shouldn't be. There should be See if I just force it in there, but I don't want to do that, so keep an eye on that. Because those are three inches. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I've been running two and three quarter for so long that I forgot that I switched up the threes. Thanks for that. Something, something, three inches, something, something, you're not used to it. <laughs> All right. So there we got uh, the first 25 shells of uh, Winchester Super X two shot. We're going to 
we're gonna move into these heavy Magnum coyote double out buck loads. Let's see what we can do with this one. I've never shot a three inch Magnum before, so. So everyone can see, we do have a three inch chamber, it says it on the barrel. So it should be good to go, allegedly. <laughs> I might stay, take a step or two back, but. Oh, there's one. <laughs> that was weird. It didn't extract. Did not extract the, uh, the last shell, so. So before we move forward, get this out of there, let's take a look at the extractor. It's still intact. So or if it's just a fluke. Possibly. Yep. Oh, I think it's working. Allegedly. Yeah. Also, bear in mind, we haven't cleaned this thing at all. Nope. That's a good point. So we are starting to see some, see the action hang up a little bit this, this time. So maybe that has something to do with it. double up buck let's move to we're gonna do these uh one and eighth ounce slugs okay. these are two and three quarter okay Same problem, did not extract. So they extracted the second time. Wonder if I'm possibly short stroking. We got this up here nine pellet butt shot these are high brass as well picture of that on the ground that would be great we've got a commenter saying that uh, it's a lack of discipline to have your gun on the ground so this is for him what? 10 rounds are going to be five i think it's five of each we got these defenders these are a two and three quarter slug and then we have some critical defense some remington one and a quarter 
four shot. These are pretty much mixed up, so we'll see what happens here. Everything. Yeah. Put Should six in the first tube, else? four in the second. What's that? Six in the first tube, four in the second. Maybe. Yeah, that's yeah, maybe what that's I ten. did. So there we go. Barrel's pretty hot. Got it up and running. Ran into some issues uh, this time with the 60 shells that we put in through. All high brass, uh, magnum loads, uh, slugs, double out buck. And I can tell you that my shoulder is not very happy <laughs> right now. Uh, it doesn't feel like the forearm has loosened up any more. We'll try to get that fixed for the next outing and see what happens with that. If it loosens up again, obviously you guys will be able to see it. Uh, but with that being said, there you have it. It is still still running. Um, some of the issues that we have seen may be due to it not being clean. Uh, and it could be operator error as well. I am not an expert when it comes to shotguns, so um, that's an area that I need to start getting training in. So, with that being said, there you go. The uh, pumper nickel is still, still running. So, how many more shells do you think that this will be able to last through, and how many more shells would you guys like to see through it? The goal is to get to at least 500 and then start pushing further on if you guys want to continue to see it. Uh, we have some more shotguns that are coming into the channel. Uh, another one from G-Force that we're going to also do the same thing, I think, and uh, go from there. But sound off in the comment section. Let me know, know what you guys think, uh, not only about the G-Force, but how many more shells should we put through it? I think it's pretty much lasted more than what the normal person would shoot. So there you guys have it. Uh, with that being said, I really do appreciate everybody swinging by. Uh, if you could share this out, I know that I've talked to a couple of my friends that says that they haven't seen any videos uh, being posted by me. I am posting regularly. I posted one uh, earlier this week, obviously Shotgun Sunday today, and uh, share it with your friends. And go ahead and double check to see if you guys are subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, that would be great as well. So we'll go ahead and get out of here. Thank you again for swinging by. We'll catch you guys next time. As always, freedom, freedom through strength. Tongue tied. We'll get out of here. Bye, y'all.